I think we've all been curious about how much money influencers make. I'm gonna share with you guys how much I made in the last month. With the videos like this where we talk about money, there has to be a disclaimer. I mean, some people are not comfortable watching or hearing about this kind of stuff. So like, please feel free to click off. But I'm making this video for those of you who value transparency and those of you who are maybe just curious to know what it's like, because I get it. It's a very fascinating industry. When you're just starting out, like reaching a thousand feels like a lot. So I'm just making this video because I wish I had this video to watch when I started creating content which is about over two years ago the way this video is structured is that I will first give you guys a refresher of like how influencers make money online then I'm gonna to talk to you guys about how much I actually made I'll break it down and then finally I'll also share how many times I posted in the last month because I feel like we all hear about you know how many times you should be posting every day like I feel like everyone has their own opinions but I think it'd be nice for you guys to see like how much I made versus how much I posted last month yeah let's get started so I've been mainly posting on Instagram and YouTube on YouTube let's start with that you make money via AdSense if you're wondering what AdSense is it's basically money from ads so when you click on this video there must have been an ad that you saw so that ad pays me through Google that makes sense second bit is through brand deals so that's basically sponsored videos sponsored posts this can be on YouTube or Instagram. It's basically when you see a creator work with a brand, that's one way of making money. The final way, the third way is through commission. So it's similar to brand deals, but like commission is where like a really old video will still make you money. Like maybe someone clicked on your link and made a purchase and so you get a commission. It's kind of like part of a brand deal, but like this has more of a long-term benefit because you are benefiting from it even after the video goes up. Those are the three ways you can make money. In all of these three ways, the most constant one is YouTube AdSense because you don't have to wait for a brand deal to come in to make money. You're already making money through the videos that you have up. Brand deals tend to fluctuate. Sometimes you get good ones and sometimes you don't. What I like to do is have like long contracts. I opt for six month contracts so I know that I'm getting money from a brand for a specific amount for a long period of time. There are many layers to it. If I miss out anything, comment down below and I'll explain it to you or DM me. All right, so now I've got my laptop here with me because I have everything over here. All the numbers are over here. Now we're gonna talk about how much I made last month and how much I posted. Starting with how much I made. I'm gonna place this here. If you guys see me looking this way, it's because my laptop is here. I'm gonna share with you guys how much I made on Instagram and how much I made on YouTube. Because I just recently started posting on TikTok, I'm not making money on there yet. Right now, I mainly make money from Instagram and YouTube. Now, let's first get a run through of how many followers I have on Instagram. Currently, my follower count sits at 1,485, so like around 1.5K. So the total I made from Instagram last month is a net exact 200 pounds now on instagram you make money through brand deals there is no adsense feature like youtube so how i make money at the moment on instagram is through brand deals so doing a sponsored post this is a bit that i think might surprise people because they don't really expect people with a low following or a growing following to make this much on Instagram. And I think it's powerful to share this so that you know what to ask brands for if you are a small creator, because at the end of the day, you are doing a job for them. When you have done it for a long time, you get good at it, then you can also charge a premium for it. And that brings up your rate to whatever it is. So that's the only one thing from Instagram. Now let's talk about YouTube. On YouTube in August, I made a total of 133 pounds 0.49 now this includes commission slash brand deals and adsense so essentially in the month of august i made 333.49 great british pounds i'll also have it in us dollars i think this could pleasantly su surprise small creators who are trying to make money on Instagram or YouTube because I think even though it's not an amazing amount, it's not four figures, it's not like 500, it's still an amount that's like, you know, okay, yeah, I can deal with an extra 300 pounds a month. Like, why not? And if you enjoy doing it, it's just like, you're literally getting paid to do something you love. And I think that's beautiful. And I think that's really fun. To be transparent, this is not how much I make every month. Being a creator means that some months you make a good amount, some months you make an okay amount, some months you don't really make much. But if you are a creator who has YouTube AdSense, like you're always gonna make something every month because 
AdSense come in regardless. AdSense come in regardless of you posting. It's kind of like old videos as well bring AdSense. And the amount I just shared now is on the higher side. Like I don't make this much every month. This just happened to be the last month and also August was a time where I did not post as much. Now let's talk about how much I posted in the month of August. So let's start with YouTube. On YouTube, I literally did not post any videos except in the end of August, I posted one video, literally that's it. But I did post four shorts. So shorts, YouTube shorts, I posted four. So a total of five posts, but really on YouTube, like you, your AdSense generally comes from like actual long form videos. Shorts doesn't really make you anything. It's really like pennies. Because of that, my AdSense for the month was relatively low. The more you post, obviously, the more money you will make because you're getting more views. My old videos were getting views, so that's where I got some AdSense from. Moving on to Instagram. On Instagram, I posted a total of eight times. This does not include stories. I didn't think including stories was necessary. Five reels, uh, three regular image slash carousel posts. On TikTok, just because, you know, it's also a platform I'm starting to post on, I posted three times, bringing my entire posting in the month to a total of 16 posts. 16 is actually relatively low. I tend to post more because I tend to have at least four videos a month on YouTube. Like, you know, two to three posts on Instagram a week and one to two on TikTok. So it generally is, it's more, but August, I was trying to like chill out a bit. Like I said in my last couple videos ago, um, where I was just chilling out when I was in between jobs. So I didn't post as much, but there isn't a direct correlation with how much you're posting in a month versus how many brand deals you get in. The only time it can matter how much you're posting is if you're just looking at YouTube AdSense because the more you post, like we said before, the more views you get and the more money you can make through ads. So it takes time, like only do it if you really love it because there's gonna be a long period of time where you won't be making anything. And like, honestly, if I wasn't getting paid, I'd probably still do it because it's fun. I genuinely have fun and I proved that to myself through making YouTube content for a year and a half without getting any payment. Like I just enjoyed speaking to you guys, helping you guys through my university related content. Like it's just a fun process for me. And yeah, like I know this is a very different video to my regular YouTube videos, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I hope you guys also enjoyed the style of the video and comment down below any questions you may have, comment down below any future videos you want me to make. And yeah, I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.